Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's TCS NQT coding questions, which were asked in the TCS exam for 2023 batch students. Guys, these questions were asked today only. That is on 19th August 2022. Yesterday also, I have made a video in which I have discussed the coding questions which were asked yesterday. So only one video was possible yesterday. So therefore, only one question was. Uh, one question was uploaded yesterday okay so now in this video also i will be discussing a single question only and many more videos will be coming in future so guys if you have not subscribed this channel now please subscribe it and do share this channel among your friends so that they can also see the video and they can also get to know the type as well as the level of the questions which are getting asked in this tcs exam and guys please hit the subscribe button because your subscription gives me motivation for making more such videos so guys if you haven't subscribed to channel, please subscribe it and please hit the like button as well as comment down that yes, you want more such videos. And guys, many of you were requesting me to make all the questions video which are were, which were asked today, but that is not possible. See, there are around five to six coding questions which are asked uh, in a particular day's NQD exam, so it is not possible for me to make all the videos. Plus, I do not have the questions also for different uh, for all the questions. So if you have some questions that you want me to make video, you can always share to uh, share those questions to me in the Telegram channel or the in the Telegram groups. The links you will find in the description box. But it is not possible for me to make the video for all the five to six questions which are asked in a particular day. So therefore, I have uh, one or two questions with me handy. So therefore, I am making the, those videos. But if you want me to make videos for some questions that you have, then again you can contact me on telegram the links i will give in the description box you can share the questions picture and i will try to give the solution to you okay so guys let's just start this video and please hit the subscribe button before starting the video okay so guys one more thing please do not try to contact me while the exam is going on i will only make the videos of the questions when the exam is over that is like at present no slot has been done and every slot of today is over so therefore i am making this video so do not kindly do not contact me for helping you in the exam. I will not do that. Okay. So let's just start this video. First, I will discuss the question. Then I will discuss the approach. And then I will be showing you the code of this particular question. And guys, by reading this question, you will understand that how a simple question can also be modified, uh, can also look like a very difficult question. So make sure to watch this description of the question till the end because I will show you that. See, the description of this question is very big. But at the end, in the end result, will be a very simple question that you will have to perform. So do not just uh, get disheartened by looking at the size of the question only. It is very simple question to implement. Just be with me and for for this question. Okay. So let us understand the question line by line. Okay. So Alice and friends are playing a game Coco. Okay. Alice is actually a mediator and rest of the friends are seated on N chairs one each. So there are N chairs. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now so now Alice and friends are playing the game. So there are total six friends. Okay. Alice is a medi mediator and total friends will be six. Okay. Let's just suppose this is the total friends and every friend is seated on the table. That is one will be seated here, one will be seated here, one will be seated here and so on. Okay. Now Alice starts by providing a paper with a single digit number to the friend that is present on the number one of the seat. So this is number one seat. This is number two seat. This is number three seat. This is number four. This is number five. This is number six. So what does Alice do? Alice being a mediator, Alice being a mediator, he will give a sheet of paper. He will give a sheet of paper to the friend who is sitting at number one with a number with a digit written on it. So let's just suppose it is a X digit that is written on it. Okay. Let's just suppose like this. Now let's denote friends F where F will be the size of N. So this is an entire array and this array will be known as friends array. So this is this array is given a name called F. Okay. Now F1 to F, Fn represents the friends seated respectively. So again, I've told you that every six friends are there and every friend will be seated on a particular seat only. So this is also clear to us. Now, after receiving the paper with a digit, F1 will enact and try to tell F2 without speaking. Okay. Again, I'm telling you after receiving a paper with a digit, F1 will enact and try to tell F2 without speaking. Now, the friend at number one has got a paper, has got a sheet with a digit on it. What is a digit? It is X. Now, what will he do? Here yeah, now number one friend has the paper. Now what we will do? He will he will try to enact the digit and try to tell F2 without speaking. So what what it is doing he is playing Damsharas. You can say like this that he will have a digit and he will have to enact that digit to number two. He will have to enact that digit to number two and he cannot speak it. 
he will just have to add that digit okay i hope this point is clear to you next is similarly f2 will communicate to the next person f3 this continues until the last person fn understands the digit okay so what is happening ls has given x2 one now x will enact that number and two will have to guess once two guesses it then he will enact and three will have to guess once three guesses the number he will enact and four will guess uh, uh, he will enact and four will guess once four have guessed four will enact and five will guess guess and then five will enact and six will guess okay so this will continue till the last this will continue till the last friend have guessed the number okay okay so what is uh, what is now next thing next thing is this continues until the last person fn understands the digit finally the last person will write the digit on the separate page and give to the ls again the last person will write the digit on the separate page and give to the ls again it is a very important point now what will happen two will guess two will guess the digit Three will guess, four will guess, five will guess, and six will guess. Six, the digit that six has guessed, he will write that digit on a piece of paper and will give to Alice. So he let us suppose six has guessed the number that is Y. So Y will give this uh, Y will give this paper to uh, Alice. Okay, six will give this paper to Alice. Now Alice knows that he has given X digit to number one and he has received Y from number six. That is the last friend. Now what will happen? Now see. Alice will compare here. Uh, here we were. Alice will compare both the digits. If the digits are same, then Alice will give T-shirt to each of the friend. However, if the digits do not match, he will ask digits from each friends and give the T-shirts to that friend who understand the correct digit. So again, this is a very important point in this question. Find out how many friends did not understand the correct digit. Now what will now what will Alice do? Now Alice has X also, and Alice has Y also. Now Alice will compare these two digits. If our x is double equivalent to y, if our x is double equivalent to y, if our x is double equivalent to y, then he will give the t-shirts to all the six friends. Then t-shirt to all the n friends he will give. Else, if x is not equal to y, that is, let's just suppose Alice has given a number two and uh, the last friend, that is sixth friend, has returned a number three. Now x is not equal to y. Now what will Alice do? Now Alice will ask every or every person, every friend, that what number they have guessed. So let's just suppose, let's just suppose Alice has given one to the uh, number one friend. Now two also guessed it one. That uh, it has guessed the correct number. Now three, three guessed it two. But again four guessed it one, five guessed it one, and six guessed it. Let's just suppose three. So now what we'll do? You can see the starting number and the ending number are not same. Now Alice, uh, since these are not same. Now Alice will ask each of the friend that what number they have guessed. Okay, what number they have guessed, and he can see that four people have guessed the correct number. That is, correct number was one, and four friends have guessed one, so they are correct. Remaining two friends have guessed the wrong numbers. Okay, so now two friends have guessed the wrong number. Then what will happen? When the two friends have uh, two friends have uh, guessed the wrong number, the question was. Find how many friends did not understand the correct digit. So in the second case, when the last uh, starting digit and last digit were not same, so two friends did not guess the correct number, so two will be the answer. And in the first case, where all the friends, where x and y was equal, where x and y was equal, then all the friends guessed the correct digit. And for that, how many friends did not uh, understand the correct digit? It was zero because all the friends guessed the correct digit. So guys, see, this question was very simple. What is our input? We are given an uh, array length. That how many friends will be there, and we are given the uh, given the digits array. That is, what uh, what digit the other person has guessed. Okay, so here you can see that four was given to number one. Second also guessed four only, and third also guessed four only. So therefore, all the three friends have guessed the same number. Therefore, zero friend did not understood the correct digit. So here output will be zero. Next was five total five friends were there. Alice has given number one to the first. Now, uh, second friend guessed three, uh, third friend guessed four, fourth friend guessed one, and second uh, last friend uh, guessed two. So here, how many people correctly correctly guessed the number? That was two only. And the question in question we have uh, we have to give find how many friends did not understand the correct digit. So here, two guessed it correct. So three were the friends who did not guess the correct digit. So this was the three as an output. So I hope now things are clear to you that if our first if our in uh, starting and last number is same if our first and last number are same then 
all the friends have guessed it right irrespective of the fact see here many of you have made mistake today that is but it is given you have not understood the question correctly alice will compare both the digits if the digits are same then alice will give t-shirt to each of the friend he does not if the first and last digit if the first and the last digit are same then it does not matter that what were the numbers in between the friends in between the friends it might be three it might be three here but the answer will be still zero because if the first and last digits are same then he will give t-shirts to all the friends how many friends did not understood the correct digit it was zero okay okay in this case the answer will be still zero because first and last digits are same so irrespective of the fact that how many friends he will not uh, once uh, first and last digits are same he will not ask individual friend that what digits they have discussed but when first and last digits are not same like in this case then he will ask the individual friends that how many of you have guessed correctly and based on that understanding we will return the number so i hope now this gist of the question is clear to you many of you have made the mistake in today's exam like you what you have done you have simply calculated the number of uh, you have simply calculated the number of correct guesses in this case the number of correct guesses are two so you have returned one that is one person one friend has not discussed uh, uh, has not guessed the right answer okay so this is wrong so here if the starting and last digit are same then we will not uh, then we will not ask individual friends to tell their numbers okay so i hope this thing is clear to you so now this was the entire simple question that we have written that if our x and y were equal if x and y were equal then we will simply return zero because we do not we do not uh, have anything to do with the middle numbers okay x and y were same then again simple zero else else what we were doing we were simply we were simply calculating them if x and y are not same then we are simply calculating that how many of you guess the correct number that was two and how many of you guess the uh, wrong number that will be we have to return that will be return three here in this case okay so i hope now this understanding and the approach of this question is clear to you now let's just dive into the coding question uh, coding of this particular question okay so guys i know the video is very has become very long so for saving time i have written the code already so what we'll do we will first take our array as input okay then we will take the values inside the array as input okay now what we'll do once we have taken all the values inside the array now we'll check whether the first value or the last value are same if the first value and last value are same then it means then it means that we will have to give t-shirts to all of the friends okay it means that there were zero friends who did not guess the correct answer because once the two values are same we are not uh, we are not bothered about the between uh, between the, uh, for the between values okay so then we will simply see out zero that there were zero friends who were discussed who guessed the wrong answer if if our first value and the last value are not same okay then we will go into the else condition and now we will check that how many of them did not make the correct guess what was the correct guess that was the first value now we will be checking that which of them did not make the correct guess so once you have done it then we will print simply we will print our count value okay so i hope now this question is clear to you let's just see uh, on the running part so here three are the number of friends one to two are their values that the number they have guessed so here of starting value and the ending value are not same so therefore we will ask each of the friends that who has not guessed the correct answer that will return there are two friends who have not guessed the correct answer so we will return two here so let's just see what will be our answer we will simply return two here So here you can see that we are simply returning two here. Okay, now if all the three friends, we, I give you one, one, one and one. Then let's just see how we'll run it. Then it will it should give us zero as our answer. So again you can see zero as our answer. That is all of the friends have guessed the uh, correct uh, correct number. Okay. So I hope now you have liked the video and you have understood the entire question. And guys, please do visit this playlist. Uh, this video will also be published in this playlist only. There are here I have posted I will be posting more such advanced coding questions which are getting asked in the TCS exam. If you have any questions photo and you want me to make video, you can simply share it with me. But do not share it in the live exam. Just share it after the exam only. Uh, so therefore, uh, there only I will be able to make the video. Okay. So guys, thank you for watching this and kindly hit the subscribe button.